So we have uh, the Lions and Chiefs coming up this Thursday. That should be an interesting game. Obviously, the Super Bowl winner always hosts the first home game. Uh, the Chiefs should be strong, although Jake has something to mention about a player who might be missing. But anyways, with the Lions, they've come in with a lot of hype. You know, they closed last year strong. They got an exciting head coach with Dan Campbell. In this game, I'm not talking about the season, but in this game specifically, can they keep up with the Chiefs, Jake? Yeah, I think a few years ago you would say the answer to this question would be no, the Lions would not keep up with the Chiefs. And even though I think Patrick Mahomes has a great game for the Kansas City Chiefs, obviously, I think you got to look at the Lions side. You know who they drafted this year in Jameel Gibbs, um, the star running back. And, you know, Jamison Williams is going to – I think he's going to have a breakout year. Jamie Goff throwing in the football. I mean, the Lions, I mean, yeah, I think the Lions are going to keep – keep pace with the Kansas City Chiefs. And also, one note I want to mention on the Kansas City Chiefs, Travis Kelsey, his um, availability for Thursday's game is up in the air after he hyper and singing his knee in practice today. Huh. Breaking news right there. That would be, that would keep the Lions a little, or a little more in the game because Travis Kelsey, you know, no more Tyreek Hill. They still have good receivers, Byron Pringle, all those guys, right? But, uh, that's their main guy. So that that w- if he does not play, that would significantly alter this game. But I'm going to go under the pretense that he is going to play. Listen, the Detroit Lions, I understand the hype. They played a great game to end the season last year at Green Bay, even when they knew it probably wasn't going to mean anything. I think by that point, it, it was official that it wouldn't mean anything. That I think it was the Saints won their game or something, so it wouldn't matter. But the Lions are a good they're not a great team. I disagree with Jake. They're not going to stick with this game. The only way they will stick with this game is if Mahomes has some week one stutters. I remember back in 2020, the last time the Chiefs hosted the opening season game against the Texans, they didn't come to play right away. They only got seven uh, first half points, and then they surged later to win the game. Well, the Lions are a strong team. They're a good team, so you can't take a half off of your Mahomes. The Lions could build a lead. That's the only way I could see it. Otherwise, I don't I can't see them sticking pound for pound. Mahomes is far and away a better quarterback than Jared Goff. Jared Goff, again, he fits the lines. He's a good, he's not a great quarterback. Good is the ceiling. Uh, Obviously, you do have some exciting players with Jamar Gibbs. Uh, How much is he going to play? This is his first NFL game. We don't know. The Lions up front are a pretty good team. Uh, um, uh, Offensive line, they're number two in football, according to, I, I forget the rankings out. I'll, I'll link that, those rankings below, but they're number number two only behind the Eagles in terms of offensive line. But the thing with that is when you rank offensive line, it's a little hard. What do you mean? Do you mean run blocking or pass blocking? Because those are two separate things. So I'm not sure about that, but still good up front. I would say on both sides, never less. Uh, but the Lions, especially, and when you face a team like Mahomes, you got to – you got to stop the receivers. You got to stop the pass game. And, you know, they got some, they got some nice upgrades. You got CJ Gardner, Johnson, you got Mosley, you got all those guys coming over. But the thing is it's Mahomes. He's another breed. So I I know I, I just dissed on the Lions. I think they could have a good season. We'll see if they win the NFC North, but no, this is going to be a struggle for them uh, to keep up. What, What do you think about that, Jake? Do you think those corners, um, do you agree with me that those corners are going to struggle a little against Mahomes, or how do you see it? Since you think they can keep pace, pace. Yeah, I think a lot. Like I say, I think the Lions are going to keep pace. I think the corners will struggle though, but I think Jared Goff on the offensive side of the ball is just going to keep feeding either James Williams or Jamil Gibbs, and the Lions are just going to keep keep up. Or St. Brown. He's the one who's getting a lot. Yeah. Of hype. I was shocked when I saw that. You know how you do the fantasy draft and they have all the rankings. Uh, or what's his name? Armand St. Brown um, is. I'm on. Yeah. Like he's 20th in the rankings, not wide receiver rankings, all rankings. So that's a, that's a late second round pick uh, on fantasy you're talking about. So there's clearly hype all around. Uh, we'll see if it translates on the field. 